Hello, everyone. Welcome back. Glad you are here. Of course, we are here to go over the Forex filibuster, I mean AMA, um, to see was there anything that was really talked about? Was there anything new? Was there any alpha? Did we get a launch date? Did we get the promise from Forex of that by the 30th? We have lots to cover, lots to show. Uh, I'm going to discuss that and some things. Of course, Drip, uh, we're down to under $8, $7.97. We have the piggy bank here we're taking a look at in pig pen. You've had about 6,500 um, pigs LPs that have been claimed from the piggy bank um, since the completion of the AMA. So that's interesting there. The price was about over $9 earlier today. We were sub $8 here. Lots to cover and discuss. Of course, no number one before we do. Thank you to each and every one of you, over 1,000 subscribers. As you know, we are going up and beyond because at the end of the day, we're here to deliver the facts. No mindless shill. If things are going great and things are going good, we're going to cover it. If things aren't going good or we have questions, I'm going to cover it. The bottom line is to give you the information you need to make the most informed decision for your investments and not have the mindless shilling, which we'll go into for a future video um, with some of the other stuff. So you're here to make sure you want to know what was said, what wasn't said, what's going on with your investments. Of course, always can support the channel. Have a Patreon group here. Definitely different ways to support the channel. And also here I have a link to a connect page where you can see, get involved, join the Telegram group. Love to have you there. And of course, if you're new here and you haven't done so yet, and especially if you're trying to get more of this information, hit that subscribe button. You're definitely not going to be let down. You're going to get information. If you want other information and other cheerleading, there's plenty of channels. But if you want the real hard facts and want to know what's going on and someone who's giving something to you that you deserve to get and really giving you the meat and the meat off the bones of what's going on here, then this is the place for you. This is where you want to subscribe. This is when you give this a like. Make sure the YouTube algorithm knows that. And leave me a comment because I'm going to ask for comments along the way. I get back to everyone. If you like me, Great. If you don't like me, that's okay too. Let's debate. Let's talk about this. What do you think is going on? What was even the purpose of today's AMA? We're going to get into it. So without further ado, let's get to it. Okay. So there were a few important points. Forex was talking about something about why we have further delays, about some mystery dev. Um, we talked about, and he mentioned some things about Scratchy and some stuff with the roadmap. And some other things went over. So I'm going to make sure the most important things that were covered or that was said get covered because many people don't have two hours to invest in a filibuster of stuff that was already repeated for many, many times. So I wasn't really sure the purpose of it. But there are some things that people want to know about and what was said. What do I need to know to help for me for my investment? So let's start getting to some of those, okay? Like if this, if this guy just stepped up, and actually, you know, self-motivated and put in the work, we could get it done in two weeks. Uh, but if I have to get rid of them, then it might take, you know, it might take, I don't know, four weeks or six weeks. Uh, but when it's taking, you know, a month and a half, two months to do this stuff that should take two weeks and it's kind of a repeating uh, process, it kind of got to the point where it was like, you know, um, uh, we need to just make kind of uh, a hard decision because. Oh. All right. So it kind of goes on and on a little bit there about some dev um, and basically saying that it was taking him weeks to complete something to take one week task. Um, didn't want to lose the work of this dev, of course, was talking about. Um, and, you know, all the work has been done, et cetera. But. You know, why can't Forex properly motivate a dev to complete things on such a great project and such something that's such elaborate and being on Forex's team? I mean, if you're hiring a dev to be on your team and you are the king of DeFi, who wouldn't want to be motivated to work on that and keep doing these kind of things? I mean, and how do you choose and hire someone in that respect who does that? I mean, you're the CEO, you're the person in charge. And then also from all this time, wasn't it a while back? I don't even know how many weeks, maybe a month. I mean, time goes by so fast with some of these constant delays. But we said you hired a project manager and the project manager was going to micromanage every step, deliverables per day, deliverables per week, and make sure things are progressing. So is your project manager properly doing what they're supposed to be doing? Is that happening? 
Because if you said you have a project manager and things now are running fully smooth, well oiled machine, and you're having things things done, how can it be that you have weeks go by or months go by and you have no idea what's going on and all of a sudden things aren't being delivered? What's the purpose of hiring a project manager that you said would micromanage every step and this isn't being done? So there's some holes um, in that information. The whole buildup of that story is that we do not have a launch date. Now we need a few more weeks again before we can launch, and we're going to get to that. So let's just keep moving on here and continue along here. Okay, so I want to play a clip of Forex talking about Scratchy and the white label service and some things there that are really important. I want you to hear from him, and then I'm going to go into some coverage of it. I'm going to try to trim down some of the parts of going into it. Um, but I, I want you to get there's a certain there's a certain part that I just want you to listen to. So just stay tuned here for a second. So their project has their own treasury. Now that treasury uh, goes towards the jackpot. So a percentage of the treasury goes towards their jackpot. And what this means is every batch sold increases the jackpot for each batch. Now, since each platform will have its own jackpot that means some platforms will have larger jackpots than others uh, and as far as you know they're concerned it's their own tickets uh and they are providing the tickets uh by using scratchy's protocol and staking into the revenue sharing model but there will be some uh some more intelligent investors, because there always are, that will do the research and say, hey, where can I buy these tickets, especially, right, this is especially for the uh, investors that are more concerned with getting, uh, with, with revenue sharing. Uh, they'll, you know, so th they're going to look at the overall ecosystem of Scratchy and say, Okay, it doesn't matter where I buy tickets. Either way, if I stake them, I'll get a uh, revenue share. So I should probably be buying the tickets on the platform with the largest jackpot treasury. Uh, and whatever platform has the largest jackpot treasury, that platform will have the largest jackpots. Now, the the, uh, the lower tier prizes will be the same across platforms but the jackpots will be different. So there'll be some percentage of uh, buyers who are going to want to get, you know, who are going to figure out, I should be buying wherever the large jackpot is. Now, Animal Farm and Drip are gonna have a head start. They're going to be the first protocols that we, uh, that we host the service on. And uh, that means uh, at least at first, and most likely in the future, but not necessarily the future, but uh, but uh, at least at first, they will have the largest treasury. So as people get exposed to Scratchy from our white, white label service, and which is extremely scalable, uh, almost infinitely scalable, and they go back into the revenue sharing pool of Scratchy and, and they start doing research of the ecosystem. So it will act as a funnel to bring people into Drip and to bring people into Animal Farm. Okay, sorry, number one, about all the heavy keyboard clicking. I was doing multiple chatting back and forth during the filibuster, and it was a lot that I was kind of doing there and covering. Um but that was really the most important thing. So let's think through this logically, okay? It's a white label service. So you're doing everything from that protocol and that project's native tokens to promote it, have it look like it, have the graphics and all the things look like it. They're putting in BNB to earn BNB, but it's going to match the theme or the logo of the token or the, or the pro project or whatever. But... If it's a white label service, he's basically saying that people are eventually going to figure out all the different people who are involved with this scratchy service. So it's not really then an individual service because if I'm, let's think of it this way. 
if you're in charge and you're trying to grow a project and you're trying to grow your ecosystem, and you're trying to grow for your investors, are you going to put something on your platform that is eventually going to tell people our jackpot is not as high because the other one has an unfair advantage. So you're going to open something up, your investors, and share it with them to basically say to, to them, have them go over and leave your project and leave your platform to go join another one like Drip and Animal Farm so that they can chase the bigger jackpot. So basically what Forex is saying is I'm basically hiding this project and pretending that this is a white label service for them to make revenue. But the ultimate result is that I really want to just take and grab all of their investors and basically just pillage them so they can all come to our project. Now I get, hey, who doesn't want more people invested in animal farming drip? That's not the point here. The point here is who, after hearing this, and basically saying the whole point of this is to funnel people away from every other project only to animal farming drip, I just don't know what developer in their right mind would even want to open up that communication, who would ever want to be part of that partnership, and how anybody of any other DeFi project is going to do that. If that's the end result, and the end result is to try to steer them away to um, take your losing tickets and to stake them. But you, but you don't want them. But you don't want the people to stake them on the projects that they bought it from because of the revenue sharing. It might be less and not as big as the other two projects. I just don't see or understand why any project in any capacity would want to move forward and want to sign up for this. If that's the case, why would you sign up for the fact of saying I'm going to have something here that's basically going to get my investors to leave my project and leave my platform? So let me know what you think. Give me some comments. Am, am I saying the right thing? Do you believe what I'm saying right now is accurate? And basically, am I thinking in the right capacity? Because I think I am. And I want to know what you think. And do you think that other projects, based on what you just heard and what I just said, are they going to sign up? Would you, if you had a project, sign up for this based on the exact way Forex just described it? I want to know from you. I want to hear from you. But want to keep going, so I don't want this to be too, too long. So I'm getting ready to wrap up this um recap here and the last part we're going to go into is forex talking about the roadmap and the timeline and the when things are going to launch and i think it's very interesting to hear when he says things are going to launch and what what order i guess are important here because it kind of goes into the whole theme of all this and some of the other stuff covering so let's just hear real fast i'll try to hopefully keep a short clip and then we'll wrap this all up awesome uh, another yeah. question that we have here is someone to know uh, the potential, I don't know if you're willing to say this, but the order of when all the utilities will be rolled out, for example, Animal Farm, and then what would be after that, et cetera, if that's something you're willing to share? Yeah, sure. So Animal Farm, Pink Pad Game, Dogs Roulette, a Drip UI, uh, a new drip product for the reservoir and for the faucet will be launching at the same time. Scratchy pre-sale, uh, uh, scratchy launch. The the animal farm will go live first. The uh, pig pen game will go live next, and most likely the dogs roulette game and the drip. Uh, uh new products will will be overlapping uh, because I want to uh, get the drip stuff out uh, ASAP, but I don't want to push everything at the same time. Uh, so, uh, so, so that's the, the basic order of uh, how everything's going to be pushed. Uh, Scratchy will be in a couple months. Animal Farm, Okay, so you heard the roadmap. So at the end there, he was saying he thinks, because you know, at this point, FST does not qualify in the real world. So I don't know what one to two weeks means in Forex world, because it doesn't mean what it means to everybody else on the planet Earth. But um, he thinks in one or two weeks, we're going to have a launch date for the animal farm. And then he's saying four to six weeks of more marketing and promotion for the animal farm before it's released and launched. So we're basically looking at, you're looking at maybe October, 
I mean, at this point, 2023 sounds plausible. If it ever launches, that's plausible. So let's say it launches between October and January 2023, somewhere in that window, if that actually happens. Then after that, he's going to launch the piggy game, whatever the hell it's called, for the, for the pigs and piggy bank. Then after he launches that, and each are going to have multiple weeks lag in between, he's going to launch the dog's roulette game. Um, to try to have that, you know, whole thing and bind the bullets and all that hot stuff or whatever. And if you've paid attention to all that, then he's going to launch the drip UI. So the drip UI, if everybody remembers, he shared a screenshot of it, pretty much said it was done. Again, everything was always 100% done. It was done. It was basically showing a tiny little blurb of what it would look like, a tiny little screenshot. So it probably had one page coded to show as a teaser. Um, said it was done. Then he brought on James Devstreak, who, you know, sounds like, you know, he has good talent from my understanding and that he was going to be doing the UI and the UI is all coming up soon. So now we're pushing Animal Farm and October to January, Pigs Game, Dogs Roulette, then the Drip UI. So Drip UI is going to come out somewhere from that understanding between if you use what he was saying, December and maybe February and March of next year. So I don't know why it would take that long just to have a UI for Drip. It doesn't sound like it should take that long. Then some other Drip products. And then we're going to do the Scratchy pre-sale. And then Scratchy will eventually launch. So I'm very curious to why we're talking so much about Scratchy. And we're talking so much about this light paper and how innovative it is when it's basically the last thing on the entire roadmap and from Forex's time, which everybody knows by now and knows his calendar, how it worked, we're looking at what? January, February, next year, summer of 2023? Are we looking at fall of 2023? Are we looking at 7, 8, 9, 10, 12 months out before Scratchy gets released? But yet we're talking about it now. Again, these are not my words. He said Animal Farm. He already said one to two weeks till we get a launch date. He said that we would have it by the end of this month, the beginning of this month. So, again, don't put any money. Don't hold your breath if you think we're going to get a launch date in the next one or two weeks. You Maybe by Labor Day. I don't know. We'll hear something. Then four to six weeks of promotion before it launches. Then the pigs game. Then the dogs roulette. Then drip UI. Then some other drip products. Then scratchy pre-sale. For the Dow, because they're going to give them first dibs so they can get the first to get in, the first to get the staking, just as we – you already know the game. I don't have to go much in, in more in depth than that. You already know the whole setup and the whole way this whole system works if you actually pay attention and actually you know follow along. And then lastly, Scratchy launch. So good luck on seeing Scratchy before the end of 2023 um, at the way things are currently going because that's just what we hear. I would love to be proven wrong. I really would be, but – at this rate and the way things are going and how we keep getting delays and all these other things, I don't know if that is true. So as we wrap up here, take a look. Uh, drip, we're sitting at 785. Continue to pull down a little bit. We definitely continue to have some sells there. Um, let's look at the piggy bank and pig um, farm here. We have 645, 925. We have another few hundred LP since we've been talking this for now, so we're about up to uh, almost 7,000 LPs that have been claimed out of the piggy bank since the um, filibuster ended earlier. If we do switch over and we take a look, see, there is a lot of red coming out of drip. This is the drip right now, you guys. Let's see. The last five minutes, the last one hour, the last six hours, and this was up so much higher. Now we've fallen all the way down to 10%. So let's take a look at some of the stuff we have here just on this one screen. $11,000 sale. This one went into eShares actually and got out of drip. We have lots and lots of red, lots and lots of selling, $1,260, some lots and lots of red, another $1,300, it's $1,400, small buy, $2,000 sale, $2,300 sale, $2,000 sale, $3,500 sale, $3,500 sale, $2,000 sale, um, so I just see a sea of red, $2,000 sale is what I see. I see a sea of red right now coming in drip. I see, if you look right here, um, if we go to the 15 minute chart, the chart is basically rolled over 
So it looks like this rally right now, I'm not sure what's going to happen. It looks like it's pretty much fizzled out that rally. Um, we're starting to see some red coming in in the pigs token as well with some greens. That's a decent buy, 1700 um, This is a kind of a mixed chart right now of up or down where it's at. Uh, but the biggest thing I'm noticing here is this rollover of the chart for drip. So we're seeing the price come down and things of like that. So you got the recap. You know what was said. You know what was important. If you are following and you're getting information other than the mindless, just everything's bullish and shillers, you will just focus and use this information for the best of your decisions. I'm not here to tell you what to do. I'm here to share with you what's actually happening, giving you the insights that you deserve. Because again, I care about the investors. As I said, this channel now is about giving the investors the information. We need another voice and we need more voices to basically share with everyone of these kind of things and to make sure that people are getting really good insight and really giving them what they need to know to make the best informed decisions for themselves because that's what we're here for that's what i am here for so i am here for you i hope you found this informational definitely if you have not yet done so what are you waiting for honestly what are you waiting for come on subscribe hit the like button leave me a comment tell me what you think what is this for the recap of Forex's most recent filibuster? I have a really in-depth video I'm going to have coming up here. I'm going to start doing some really in-depth videos of looking into Drip and the Animal Farm and definitely a Drip weekly recap just to give an idea of what is going on on chain. How many real users are coming on? How much claiming to new money is coming in? How much new money is coming out? What is really going on? Because you have to watch the big money. The big money I don't care if it's Bitcoin. I don't care if it's Drip. I don't care if it's Apple and in, in traditional stock markets. I don't care if it's Amazon. The whales, where their money goes and money flows is what happens. And you have to follow and track where the money is going so you can be nimble and make your decisions. You can't just be left behind and not and get caught, you know, basically not paying attention not, and caught without the information. So again, care about all of you. Like, subscribe, leave me comments. Definitely love each and every one of you. Glad you're here. I'm glad I could share this information with you. Because, of course, as always, here is to your success.